Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens and ever sharp skylines are some of my favorite things. And I wanted to share with you once again the ever sharp skyline. Um, I am not going to go into all the great detail on the ever sharp skyline. I've done a video on it and I'm going to put a link for that video up around here or so. So, but I wanted to tell you about a new one that I got and give you a real brief synopsis about the skyline, okay? Uh, I'm going to read from richardspens.com, and here's what uh, Richard Binder had to say. The Skyline is a pen model introduced by Eversharp in 1941. It was designed by noted industrial designer Henry Dreyfus. The Streamline Skyline was an excellent writer and was the company's most successful model ever. Well, I can understand that. As a matter of fact, I have experienced why it was the most successful model ever. I have before me not every Skyline I've ever owned. Um, actually, I've given away some Skylines. Uh, but these are the ones that I've got in order of when I procured them. This was the first one I ever got, and it was restored by somebody in New Hampshire. Matter of fact, uh, he's from a town where I used to live years and years ago. Little tiny town. It was kind of bizarre. I got this one at the Raleigh Pen Show several years ago. Uh, somebody I know was selling it, and uh, for 40 bucks, I said, fine, sold. These two right here are a set that I procured from AntiqueDigger.com. As long as I got you 10% off all your purchases, AntiqueDigger.com. Use discount code Troy. Uh, but uh, these were seemingly new, never touched. This one still has the band around it, uh, or at least part of the band, because literally when I took it out of the tube, uh, part of the uh, band on it fell off. So that's what's left of that band. But you can see here on the pencil that accompanied that lever filler fountain pen uh, that uh, you know it still has the band on it and this was the one I just most recently procured now the skyline came in three different sizes it came in a standard a demi and the executive the standard my understanding was their um, medium sized um, the demi should have been their smaller so I understand I may have that backwards, but I don't think that I do. Um, and I believe that these three are supposedly the standard sizes, even though this one here does look to be a little smaller. I did line up the bottom, so, so you can see exactly how long each of these are side by side. These are some absolutely gorgeous pens. I, I love the design of these, and what it was supposed to be reminiscent of is a Skyline uh, uh, train. I will put up a picture of that very train that was supposedly modeled after when it was designed. You know, it was very unique at the time, very distinctive looking uh, for that cap and clip of the skyline. But as much as I love these, and I'm, tell I'm telling you, from the first time I picked these up and wrote with them, I absolutely loved them. I wanted the executive model, which was bigger. These wrote great, loved them, I just wanted a little bigger in my hand. So I was able to pick this up at the Triangle Pen Show this last weekend and uh, picked it up at a fairly decent price, I thought. David Nishimura, uh, he owns VintagePens.com. He was at the Triangle Show, we had a great conversation, and he had this one for sale. And it just so happened, he and I talked about the pen, I had exactly the amount of money left in my pocket that uh, he had said that he would take in order to procure this pen. And as we were talking, he said that the black was the most desirable for collectors because it's the hardest to come by. And I'm thinking to myself, uh, why would the black be the hardest to find? I, that, that's beyond me, but apparently it was. I mean, you can see that you've got some with the striated metal caps, and you've got some that have those beautiful stripes like here. Um, and be honest with you, I'm not used to seeing the all one color as it was, but you'd think that black, especially something considered executive that someone would be using in an office environment, especially if you are an executive, that this would be perfect looking for the office. Black and gold, I've said it many, many times, simple yet elegant to me. And this, simple yet elegant. It still has that skyline design on that clip 
and the cap. Uh, but apparently, black is, for some reason, the hardest to find. All black, and especially in an executive. So I said, all right, as much as I love Skylines, and as much as I literally have been on the lookout, and I've been pricing, and I've been talking to sellers who may have them, that I wanted an executive Skyline, I've been chasing them, never got a chance to actually get one, but here it was, sitting there for the money that I had left in my pocket. So I've got it. So I'm gonna show you a little bit more about the Eversharp Skyline. I'll show you some more pictures that I've got of it, uh, and I will do a writing sample with it, tell you a little bit more about it. with all Eversharp Skylines, it is a screw-on cap. And it is one, let's take a look. Can you post this one? Of course that you can. It's not a very heavy pen. Um, it, it's actually a decent size, it's decent in the hand, um, and it's not overly heavy. But this particular cap, I don't think I really need it in this size, which is one of the reasons I really wanted this particular pen. The others, like I said, I, when I showed you those, they write fantastically well, and I've been very, very happy with those over the years. Uh, but I wanted something j that fit just a little better in my hand. I prefer oversized pens, and this is the definitely the larger of the Eversharp Skylines. That's why it was on my hit list. So let's go ahead and show you that nib just a little bit. I have some close-up pictures of the nib as well as some pictures of the clip that has the Eversharp name right on it. And just look at that. It's, it, I mean, it, it looks like, or is meant to be reminiscent of, an oncoming train. Well, I guess uh, it might look more like that coming at you. But that was the whole design. I mean, you, you've got that nice gold-filled trim, uh, right around here, and you know you've got uh, you know a nice standard long, uh, long pull thin lever, and you've got that nice little notch, and that's one of the things I do like about uh, the thought that they put into it because it actually lets you get your thumbnail in underneath that lever. Obviously, I'm not going to go pull up on that lever because this pen is inked, and I put in some Waterman Black, an old standby ink that I tend to use. So, let's see how this, uh, this baby writes, and maybe you'll get a chance to see why I actually fell in love. I mean, the first time I ever saw the Wall Eversharp Skyline, I loved it. I just absolutely loved the design, and when I wrote with one, I was like, oh, that is so awesome. So, the Eversharp Skyline. This one, this particular one, the one I wanted, the one I held out for for so long. The executive model. The last one that I bought, I really was in the market for an executive, but it was such a good looking pen. And because when I can pick them up at a good price, and sometimes I've been known to pick them up uh, fairly cheap and restore them, uh, and put them in the hands of other people. Um, when I can pick them up, I can. Matter of fact, you can still find them in, in abundance online if you just look. And you can go to Peyton Street Pens. Uh, they often have them. Matter of fact, last look, just the other day, there were some Eversharp Skylines, albeit not the executive model. Uh, but Terry tends to keep them in stock an awful lot. Antique Digger from time to time has them, and just look on eBay from time to time. You can find them there even restored. Um, and personally, I'll buy them uh, where they need a little tender loving care, and I've been able to take some nice little grungy ones and make them into a gem. So, been very happy with that. Now, this particular nib, it's a little more 
on the rigid side which I don't mind quite honestly I like a good rigid nib um, a matter of fact I'm not big on it's got to be flexible oh it's vintage nibs are all flex this little 14 karat nib is actually like I said more on the rigid side but you can get some variation out of it if you try and it's actually a good wet writer as it is but you gotta you gotta depress down in order to get some good flex out of it but by and large when you go to write with it it's a fairly rigid nib and I do like that about it but you do have the ability to get some flex so that's what it kind of impressed me when I first went to go write with it I personally like rigid nibs it's just the way I am especially on my vintage pens um, I've, I've got flex and I absolutely love them I've got stiff nibs that work fantastically well and I've been very happy with those oh let's see so um, like I said I put in some Waterman black every single wall ever sharp skyline that I've ever written with has been very smooth and taken absolutely no nib adjustment whatsoever I haven't had to I don't think I've had to uh, smooth out a single one to get them to write well every single ever sharp skyline nib that I've ever done has been a fantastic writer just like Richard Bender said they all are good writers this one here is a great writer and like I said this particular one um, being all black and they called it jet black um, apparently was a little more scarce in order to find them in black much less than the executive size so got one that I wanted crossed another one off of my wish list uh, at the uh, triangle pen show I actually crossed two of pens off my wish list uh, this obviously being one of them so I'm gonna keep this one polished up a little bit you know it, it's act, it's seen better days in that yeah it's got a few scuffs in it in in the plastic here um, but I'll, I can clean that up and polish that up very nicely uh, overall it's in great condition I, I it other than the few aesthetics you know like I said a few scuffs here or there but overall the pen itself physically very good condition very good writing very functional very happy with it so um Eversharp Skyline executive model checked another one off my list and maybe um, if you can find, um, and here's just a couple of them. I put the other one that I had back in the bin to be cleaned out. Yeah, actually, um, I used it here recently. Ran out of ink in it, and I put it in my little bin to be cleaned. Um, but, you know, when you look at some of the absolutely gorgeous options that are out there, this one, believe it or not, <laughs> this one's kind of a Franken pen. You got the blue at the top, and you got dark 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 green here at the bottom that when you don't have uh, a bright light on it actually looks like it's black um, but that Franken pen was the first one that I got but the performance was outstanding then I got this one performance outstanding I uh, you know refurbished one outstanding bought another one outstanding this one outstanding so raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens and ever sharp skylines are a few of my favorite things.